Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art, and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. And today's video is all about chic living room trends you need to know about for 2022 and 2023. We're almost halfway through the year, so I thought it would be a good time to talk about trends and styles that are popular right now that I also see being prominent next year too. Living rooms are sometimes the largest rooms in the house because they have to accommodate large sofas, TVs, storage units, and of course, entertaining guests, meaning that we have a lot of space to play around with and have fun decorating. Maybe you're wanting to give your living room a refresh for summer, or maybe you're just wanting to see what's trendy at the moment. Either way, if you're interested, let's jump in. Living rooms are such an integral part of the house and I would go as far as to say that they are the heart of the home because we spend so much time relaxing and socialising in this space. I find it really interesting how trends used to change drastically from decade to decade but now I'm finding that they're changing a lot quicker, say every three years styles fade and new ones come in. This year we can expect to see a new take on modern interior design, bolder colours being brought back, intriguing materials being used within the home where we're used to seeing them in a commercial type environment and revisiting classic looks. So now that you've had a glimpse of the trends, let's dive into each of them. My first living room trend is actually one of the most popular colours to paint and decorate with and it's using different shades of green. Now I'm not really one to recommend one specific colour but different shades of green are going to be extremely popular moving forward. Personally I think it's down to the fact that green evokes a natural calming vibe and it also subconsciously makes us think of sustainable elements and an eco-friendly image. See what they did there? In fact, Etsy have informed that shoppers are looking for ways to incorporate green with searches of green decor up by 60%. I think with green, you either love it or you hate it. And I prefer more pastel gray tones, but either way, you can't argue that it has a restorative effect and creates a zen atmosphere, especially when luscious plants are added to the scene. So in terms of color, look out for a green palette. In the week where Kate Bush's song Running Up That Hill re-entered the charts because of its appearance on the TV show Stranger Things, there is no denying that Generation Z play a big part in setting trends and reviving them from the past too. For me, the biggest Gen Z trends that have come to light have been born on the social media app TikTok. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Gen Z are the generation born between the late 90s and early 2000s and they've been coming up with different design trends and also reviving some. Dark academia, romantic academia, which I feel has been heavily influenced by Bridgerton, cottagecore, ethereal, coconut girl and the coastal grandmother aesthetic, which I talk about in my recent video, are just a few trends that I've seen mentioned recently. But honestly, I feel like every week there's a new one and I honestly can't keep up. And whilst I feel these mainly concern fashion, I've noticed that after a while these trends slide into the world of interiors and home decor too. Primark recently came out with a Romantic Academia or Light Academia product line. Urban Outfitters are definitely adopting retro and vintage looks within their home decor. And H&M Home are sporting cottagecore prints, so keep an eye out on the latest trends on TikTok because it's pretty obvious that the research teams at these home furnishing companies are using TikTok as their main trend source. My third living room trend is all about modern interior design and more specifically how it's changed in the last five years up until now. Really when you think about it, in the 2010s, the most desired living room design was a minimal cold toned Scandinavian style, which I think still looks good, but now what we're seeing is a Japandi look take over where Scandinavian meets the zen of Japanese design. Natural elements are brought in to create a calming, tranquil space. It's all about the addition of warmer neutrals, lots of textures and natural materials. Texturally, think stone furniture and wooden decorations made from teak or mango wood. Perfect for those of you wanting to achieve a modern, refined interior style that also has a contemporary edge. However, if you don't want an ultra contemporary interior, a style that's very similar in appearance is the rustic luxury style. 
I call it modern Mediterranean, but whatever you want to call it, it's a great alternative for those of you looking for a more traditional scheme. The main difference between a Japandi living room and a modern Mediterranean living room is that the latter has more rustic earthy elements brought in. There is also more of an emphasis on outdoor living, exposed architectural features, stone detailing, arches, and I also mentioned this trend in my kitchen design trends video which I will link. It's laid back, effortless and also stylish which makes it very popular. Modern Mediterranean, rustic luxury, new Mediterranean, I've even heard Mediterranean. It's confusing with these labels that have been branded onto the style, but hopefully they help you to find more inspiration if this is a style you love. So moving on from our neutral, calming interiors, we're going to flip that switch as my next trend is all about using bright, bold colours and patterns which I believe have been inspired by recent fashion trends, celebrity style and makeup trends too. Like I said before, many fashion trends end up influencing interior design trends as well. The style actually reminds me a lot of the Memphis movement in the 1980s that saw geometric shapes, abstract colours and patterns. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that these home furnishings are certainly on brand. With this trend, you're going to spot lots of bright colours, patterns, shapes and colour blocking on home decor items. Really any home decor piece that is saturated in colour and what I would say has a sense of fun too. So we've covered modern interior design, but my next living room trend is actually all about returning back to classic design. Traditional interiors are here to stay. And I think the reason being, traditional interiors never really went out of style because they give a timeless, sophisticated look. The reason why I love this style is because it is unique and everyone can add their own style to a traditional interior. Personally, I find that everyone copies modern interior design ideas from Pinterest or Instagram and because of that, their personality gets left out of the design and everyone's interior ends up looking the same too. But with a traditional interior, that is far from the truth. My last living room trend is how to furnish the space with smaller home decor items. Now I'm sure you've already seen the book clay curved armchairs and sofas all over Instagram. But really following on from that trend are the curved geometric lines. This is what you will I'm sure be spotting when you're next shopping for your home. A mobile style chandeliers, curvaceous vases, donut vases as well bubble candles, sculptures, cushions, and of course artwork will be the new staples for home furnishing shops, which I think also tie in really well with any modern interior design style. If you need any more advice, I have a whole playlist with interior design and home decor tips, and I've left it linked in the description. And if any of you are new, then I just wanna welcome you to the channel where we talk about home decor, interior design, and all that cool creative stuff in between. So if any of that interests you, feel free to subscribe. But if you are already a creative crew member, then please give the video some love because by doing that, it actually really helps the channel to reach even more people. I hope that you enjoyed my living room makeover ideas and trends, and I really appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end of the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.